Hello everyone, this is your mentor Swati Joshi and now we will discuss reverse bias PN junction. Now what is happening in reverse bias? We are connecting the P side of the junction to the negative terminal of the battery and the N side of the terminal to the uh, N side of the junction to the negative uh, to the positive terminal of the battery. So what is happening here? Due to the attraction of charges, we know that here uh, positive charge and here negative charge. So these both charges are attracting each other and these both charges are attracting each other. Due to the attraction of charge, reverse current is started to follow. What is this? In uh, due to this due to this process, what is happening? The depletion region here is increasing. It means. Uh, whatever happening in forward bias is not happening here this region this depletion region is increasing the um, uh, difference between p and n the charge carriers are increasing a particular voltage or creating a barrier so as a VA characteristics when we study what is happening here let's say this is the negative voltage or let's say minus 10 minus 20 and similarly so what is happening when we are increasing the voltage when we are increasing the voltage here what is happening a current which is called ir or reverse current is flowing till it attain a particular voltage which is which is called as breakdown voltage or vb till vb the current is flowing in a particular steady state manner when the uh, voltage attain a particular level which is called breakdown voltage then the bonds inside the silicon atom and the covalent bond are rapturing or rapturing this pn junction then we called it as breakdown of the junction so there are two kinds of breakdown we will discuss them now first we will discuss what is Zener breakdown. Now what is happening in Zener breakdown? Let's see it with the diagram. So here it is voltage and here again it is current. And this is minus 10, minus 20, let's say minus 30. So what is happening in Zener breakdown at a particular level as I already said that current is increasing in a steady state fashion which is reverse current but till it attain a higher voltage which is breakdown voltage similarly to let's say minus 25 volt in this case if this attaining the minus 25 volt or breakdown voltage then this uh, then the covalent bond inside the junction or the semiconductor material is rapturing or the junction is rapturing the depletion region a region has raptured so the electrons are flowing exponentially so the current here is called as saturation current which is very 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 high even the change of very low voltage here if i say if it is 25 volt and if i increase it little bit say to uh, in between 25 or 26 25.5 also the the um, saturation current will increase as exponentially so in here we can say that voltage is uh, voltage is very very voltage the transition of voltage or the voltage after breakdown when we be attain we be attain after breakdown the voltage increment is very very light but current increment is very very high so we consider those uh, as voltage regulators also so this mechanism zener we consider as voltage regulator process because what happening here after a particular level of voltage if i increase the voltage a little much then the current increase exponentially in according to the voltage so the these are also used as voltage regulators now one thing one has to note it here that zener breakdown always occur in heavily doped pn junction heavily So they always occur in heavily topped PN junctions and they require very high voltage which is called as breakdown voltage. Let's say in this example we consider it minus 25 volt to break the covalent bond of the system and release the current which is saturation current which is very very high uh, which is very very high and when I increase the voltage after breakdown a little much the, increase, uh, the increment in current is very high. So this system is uh, used as voltage as application of voltage regulators. Now we will discuss our second term which is avalanche breakdown. So what is happening in avalanche breakdown? Okay, now what is happening in avalanche breakdown? We can see 
in avalanche breakdown firstly they have and they the avalanche breakdown always occur in lightly doped in lightly doped junctions so what is happen in avalanche breakdown the process of impact ionization or thermal voltage we consider voltage uh, so what is happening in this due to the lightly doped pn junctions when the pn junction is lightly doped we know that if the uh, if the junction is heavily doped the depletion region is thin and if the junction is heavy uh, lightly doped the depletion region is wide so depletion region is wide and due to the effect of temperature also due to the effect of voltage we know that uh, zener occur but in lightly doped one uh, thing we also consider that thermal voltage due, due to the effect of that voltage the sorry the thermal um, temperature so what is happening due to the thermal voltage or the effect of temperature what is happening here in this depletion region the charges colliding with each other so the uh, we pro the term we called as impact ionization what is happening due to the high voltage these charges or mobile electrons or uh, the Um, electrons inside the electrons or holes we can say inside the depletion region itself they are colliding with each other and increasing the electron hole pair or uh, generation of electron hole pair so when this electron hole pair is increasing so due to the uh, voltage effect due to the thermal voltage or vt this effect is happening so increasing in electron hole pair also increase the current here so one here one one thing we have to consider that if zener occur at 25 volt avalanche will occur at little higher voltage why so because uh, the current is increasing a uh, current is increased due to the impact ionization and to the process of voltage also so voltage and current so vt and the vb both are happening here so the effect of vt plus vb we are adjoining these two effects and at a higher voltage the avalanche breakdown is occur and the current intensity is also little high so we discuss we uh, broadly discuss two topics here zener breakdown and avalanche breakdown as a uh, differences between them zener breakdown always occur in heavily doped junction we know that heavily doped junction has light uh, light depletion or a small depletion region and lightly doped junction have wide depletion region so in avalanche breakdown the Uh, current is due to the thermal voltage and due to the breakdown voltage so the current intensity is little high in avalanche breakdowns i think this topic is clear to you all thank you